In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do lookups on pictures. Now, I'm filming this from Mallorca in Spain. It's a very nice island in the Mediterranean Sea with spectacular views and beautiful scenery. You get the sea, the hills, cute little villages, and great food. Now, talking about pictures, in the previous video, we saw an example of the picture lookup in the FIFA World Cup tool that visualized the countries which made it to the round of 16, then quarterfinals, and so on. Now, if you missed that video, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below the video. Now, what was great about that visualization is that when the country changes, the flag updates accordingly. Now, there's no VBA here. It's just smart use of Excel features. Now, the best thing is that you can use it for different purposes. You can use it for employee pictures. You can use it for sales managers, business unit, or company logos. Now, anywhere where you need to do lookup on pictures, this technique comes in handy. So let me show you how you can set this up. On this sheet, I have a list of sample countries along with their flags organized like this. Now the aim is to create a drop-down list on the report tab right here, where I'm going to be selecting the country and on top of my report here, I want to see the flag of the country that I selected. So my first step is to organize my images in the proper way. And the proper way is that each single image should sit inside a cell. I mean, it's sitting on top of the cell, but it should be surrounded by the cell. And it should be right beside the correct text in our master data. Now, one thing I do here is to click on any of these images and then press Ctrl A to select all the remaining images. Then I'm going to press Ctrl 1 to bring up the properties and I'm going to go to the properties tab right here and select don't move or size with cells. This makes sure that if I change the row height of any of these that my image is not going to stretch. Now the next thing to do is to make sure that they all have the same row height and that the row is big enough for the image to fit inside it. So I'm just going to right mouse click, go to row height and just go with 16.1. I think that will fit my images. So this image does fit well here. Now the next thing I need to do is to make sure each of these single images is going to be inside its own cell. So I'm going to bring Australia up to where I want it and then use Control A to mark all of them, then go to Format, go to Align and distribute them vertically. Then I'm also going to align them on the left hand side. Now let's just take a look. They look quite good. So each of these looks like it's in the cell. Now as the next step, I'm going to create my drop down. So I'm going to go to data, data validation, select list from here, and as source, say it's equals to B3 to B8. So that's where I have the list of my countries. Now, if I select Germany, I want to see the German flag right here. This means that I actually need an image to start from. So I'm just going to pick any of these images. Let's pick Germany, Control C, go back to report and Control V right here. Now, obviously this is not dynamic, right? Because I haven't done anything to make it dynamic. If I select France, this is still going to show Germany. But the idea is that I want to link this picture. I have the option to type a formula in here, but I'm very restricted to using cell references only or names from name manager. So I can't write a VLOOKUP formula in the formula box. Now check this out though. If I select the image and go directly to the formula box and then click on this cell, what do you think I'm going to see? I'm going to see France. Now if I change this to England, I'm going to see England. So basically I'm getting a dynamic image of my cell value. Now what happens if instead of looking at C2, I go to master and I look at cell A3. What do you think I'm going to see now? 
I'm going to see the German flag. So basically this formula, this link is showing me what is on top or inside the cell. Now this is the part that I want to make dynamic because if it's England, I want it to show what is inside cell A6. If it's Germany, it should be inside cell A3. Now since I can't use formulas in here directly, I need to go about this in a different way and that's using names from name manager. So my next step is to give the cells that my flags are sitting on names. And those names are going to be identical to the names that I have in front. So basically cell A3, instead of it being called A3, it should be called Germany, right? So this is a way of bookmarking the cell and I would press enter. The next cell should be called France. Now there is a quicker way of doing this. I'm just going to press control Z to go back. The quick way is to highlight this area go to formulas, to the part where name manager is, and use create from selection. So notice that I've selected both columns here. Now I can say create names from values in which column? I don't want the top row, I want the right column. So basically the name that I see in the cell is going to become the name of the cell that's on the left hand side. I'm going to say OK. And now check this out. Cell A3 is called Germany. Cell A4 is called France, Spain, and so on. If I go to Name Manager, I can actually see their names created automatically here. Now, if I go back to my first tab, and instead of saying Master A3, I would say equals England. What do you think I'm going to see? The English flag. Now I can use their names here. But the problem is that I can't use any VLOOKUP here. I actually want to say equals what I see in C2 right here, but it should translate this to a bookmark, basically to an address. The way to do that is with the indirect function. The indirect function can take whatever it sees in a cell and translate it to an address. I have a separate video for indirect. I'm going to add that to the description of this video. Make sure you check it out if you want to learn more about indirect. Now, the problem I get is that I can't directly input indirect in here because remember, the formula box here is a direct link either to a cell or as we saw before, to a name. So basically, all I have to do is to create a name that says equals indirect C2. I'm just going to press escape to leave. I'm going to go back to name manager, click on new, give this a new name. So I'm going to call it flag and I'm going to paste in my formula that I copied before. And the formula is very simple. It equals indirect C2 is where I have my drop down and click on OK. The new name has been added here. I'm going to close. Now the last step is to connect this instead of C2 to the flag. So make sure your image is activated. Let's go to the formula box, type in equals, input flag, and now we have our flag. So if I change the selection here, I see France. So I'm going to change the size. I want my flag to be much bigger. And notice that you get that border of the cell as well. So I'm going to crop this image. I'm just going to click on it, go to format, Go to crop options right here and just crop it to the size that I like. And that's just going to strip out that border and then click on crop again. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Germany. I see the German flag, Australia, the Australian flag. If you learned something new and if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, you want to become more advanced in Excel and haven't subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Mm -hmm.